Hello, and welcome to the Futurum Tech Webcast. I'm Shelley Kramer, Principal Analyst here at Futurum Research, and I am joined today with by Susan Sharp with the Dell Technologies Product Management Team, and we're going to have a conversation about developments in AI ops software. Our research here at Futurum shows that IT organizations are trying to do more with less. If you're in IT, chances are good you're nodding along about now. Um, we're seeing, you know, IT leaders navigating labor shortages, skill shortages, environments are scaling, distributing, and getting infinitely more complex. So how do organizations handle all of this? Well, that's what Susan and I are going to be talking about today. Susan, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. So AI ops, let's talk about Dell's solution to address AI ops. Well, there's two main factors here. So first has to do with what we already built into the products, into the infrastructure itself, such as intelligent storage that can optimize for performance and efficiency, or servers that can automate deployment, or switches with zero touch deployment. So that's one key aspect that's built right into the products here at Dell. The other key aspect is the AI Ops product, Cloud IQ, which I'm responsible for. And that product is a SaaS application that proactively identifies potential issues in the environment and provides recommended remediations for how to eliminate the risk those potential issues pose. You know, what I really like about um, this solution is, you know, you touched on it a little bit, but the proactive monitoring, the predictive analytics, you know, things that are working for you, you know, while you don't even know it, right? And, you know, then combining the human intelligence of expert engineering and the machine intelligence of AI and ML, all of this, it, it, you know, provides customers with greater insight, more information at your fingertips, and, you know, it allows you to be not only more efficient, but more proactive. And I think that, you know, to me, um, peace of mind comes with proactivity rather than reactivity. And I think I would guess that your customers feel the same way. That's so true. Uh, customers have definitely said that this is a key benefit that Cloud IQ yeah. provides for them, going beyond just standard reporting on metrics and really taking the next step forward in the advanced analytics. Some of those, yeah. for instance, are the capacity anomaly detection, where we identify a sudden and unsustainable surge in capacity consumption and what might be causing it. Similarly, performance. Uh, anomalies and impact analysis where we use advanced analytics to be able to identify where there are deviations from normal performance behavior uh, and also where we can correlate performance metrics to identify and really hone in on actual performance issues. Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel like, you know, I'm always looking for uh, silver linings and I feel like a silver lining in my worldview that has come as a result of navigating a global pandemic for two years plus, right, is just um, the understanding by organizations and leaders and IT leaders um, that, you know, anticipating needs, um, business continuity, those resili business resilience, all of those things are so important and technology solutions that can help you address those things kind of came to the forefront as a result of the pandemic. So I see, a, I see a move toward AI ops and understanding the value that they deliver as something that's the silver lining that's kind of come out of the past couple of years. Do you see that as well? I definitely do. Uh, and when we've asked customers uh, how they're using CloudIQ and how CloudIQ is benefiting them, they've told us that CloudIQ enables them to solve issues and again, part of that is proactively identifying them and remediating right. before they actually impact two to 10 times faster than without Cloud IQ. And I think that's a real, uh, a real benefit. Um, I think that's a solid value prop. Yes. <laughs> so what makes Cloud IQ different from other infrastructure monitoring and management tools um, that allow you to get to these results? What's the secret sauce there? Well, the secret sauce, uh, in part, was what I was talking about earlier in terms of those advanced analytics where yeah. we are able to provide, I like to say, providing the needle in the haystack for the user. So the user doesn't have to go compare days and days and weeks and weeks of charts and try to do eyeball correlations and things like that. We're providing that right to our users um, right there in the interface. And so I think that is a tremendous time savings. And we like to say enabling humans can opt uh, to be able to offload to the machines what machines do well so that humans can spend time and energy and more productive and more meaningful tasks. 
So there's mm -hmm. advanced analytics I've talked about in terms of the performance and capacity anomaly detection. Uh, the fact that we have a proactive health score that identifies those potential vulnerabilities and with them the recommended remediation to, uh, to expedite that time to resolution. Those are some of the, the real key capabilities that we have in Cloud IQ yeah. and we're continuing to build on those. So. You know, I think of it as, you know, letting the technology solution do the heavy lifting, right? Exactly. And do the heavy lifting, do the, you know, the onerous tasks and do it much more quickly, generally speaking, than humans could. And, you know, allow the rest of us to focus on what it is that, you know, other things that deliver, you know, significant business value. I think that that, I think to me, that's an important part of the value proposition there. That's exactly right. Um, and I'll just give an example, another survey, you know, we asked our customers, what kind of time savings is Cloud IQ providing for you? And they said, on average, nine hours a week. I like to say that's a work day for some people. That's not a work day, but we'll call that a full work day per week. And I think that's a tremendous benefit as well, or value prop as you Oh, I agree. You know, I was just having a conversation with a colleague and he made the mention of, you know, people talk about a four day work week. I feel like I need four more days in each week. And so to me, getting those nine hours, I'll take it. It's not a, it's not a work day for me, but I'll take those nine hours any way I can get them. So that's I think that's amazing. So from a do more with less standpoint, I feel like some of the functionality that I see that's incredible, that I feel is incredibly attractive or would be attractive to me is the fact that, you know, you can access Cloud IQ from a browser or by way of a mobile app on your phone. Okay. So anywhere I go, I can get the information I need, right? And then, you know, Cloud IQ is hosted on Dell IT Cloud. So that means my team doesn't have any software to install or to maintain or updating infrastructure or personal devices. Everything is just, you know, a few clicks away. And I think that I find that personally incredibly appealing. Um, what other, what other parts of the sort of the do, and that's how I look at do more with less, right? <laughs> Just easier access, fewer things to do, fewer things to worry about. What What is in your mind when we talk about being able to do more with less? Well, I'm glad you included the mobile app. That was a really key aspect of that. Yeah. Uh, in addition to the mobile app, we also allow users to customize the email notifications uh, that they receive. And I know for some people, email is kind of old school. So for people who are a little bit more contemporary, we also have the ability to, uh, to integrate any of those health issue notifications, to integrate that with other applications through a webhook API. Oh, and wow, this that's great. And they can tie that into, you know, communications channels uh, like Slack or Teams. Uh, they can uh, tie this into their ticketing systems like ServiceNow. And we even have users who are starting to build those notifications into predefined workloads. So talking about doing more with less, with the click of a button, they can take the remediation they need to, and they very quickly remediate the issue, um, not to mention also reduce or remove the human element out of that, uh, the human error element, I should say, when you're trying to, to find something in a UI and click on the right you know, device that you need to delete or expand, being able to have all that uh, integrated in a predefined workflow and all you have to do is click to approve, I think is really huge. So I think those are examples as well. I love it. I love it. So the one of the last things I want to talk about is actually one of my very favorite topics. And I think it's incredibly important here. Let's talk about security. How does that uh -huh. fit in? <laughs> So security is, is essential, and uh, our customers have, have absolutely said this is a top priority for them. So we first introduced cybersecurity uh, um, analysis for some of our storage systems. We recently added in for PowerEdge servers, and that was an enormous step forward because if you think about the, uh, the span of number of servers in a given environment and just the the overhead of having to ensure security settings for those and right. the number of times, you know, let's say it takes you, you know, 10 to 15 minutes to manually check security settings on every server. I think that's probably realistic. And then you multiply that by hundreds or thousands of servers in the environment. Really build overwhelming. IQ. <laughs> overwhelming to say the least. Yes, daunting right. for sure. Um, and so with the Cloud IQ cybersecurity support for servers now, uh, users can create a given template for their servers uh, or a number of templates, however they want to do that. They define what those settings need to be. They apply that to 
some or all of the servers, depending on the settings in their environment. And now Cloud IQ is proactively scanning, eliminating those manual steps across those hundreds and thousands of servers, taking out that um, overwhelming and daunting task by automating that by use of the cybersecurity support of Power Edge servers. So. Well, I love that. And, you know, the the application here of machine learning and predictive AI, which is, you know, all about helping helping customers zero in quickly on those problem areas and, you know, assessing um, infrastructure. What I, One thing that I like that kind of stood out to me is that the platform assesses whether your infrastructure security configurations adhere to your policy and then quickly identifies the problem areas that you have and then recommends actions to help keep data safe. I mean, those are all, to me, onerous tasks that are time consuming. And so, you know, relying on the technology to be able to do that for you, I think is a, is a massive lift. Definitely. That's, that's the way we see it too, but I'm glad to hear you say it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. So what's ahead? What can we expect in the future from Cloud, Cloud IQ, Susan? Well, we want to build on some of these capabilities that we have. So we'll continue to expand our cybersecurity support for the rest of the products in the portfolio. Uh, we'll continue to hone the proactive health and start to bring in some customization into that. Uh, we will start to uh, or, or add to the performance analysis that we're performing or uh, providing today uh, and really uh, kind of zero in on more end-to-end -end correlation and intelligence and what I like uh, calling connecting the dots uh, across that. Uh, and then also continue to provide more intelligence in terms of capacity prediction and analysis and, and identifying, again, kind of the fastest and, and best recommended ways to, uh, to remediate those potential capacity issues in the environment. So users don't get that 2 a.m. phone call. Nobody wants those 2 a.m. phone calls. Fair. Ever, never, ever. Well, Susan, this has been a fantastic conversation. Um, I, I am all in on Cloud IQ and the benefits that um, the AI ops software can deliver. And I so appreciate you spending time with us today here and kind of walking us through the platform and the benefits and everything else for our listening and viewing audience. Um, uh, know that we recently published a, a research report on a short research brief on this topic. I'll include that in our show notes here for you. And I will include a link to Susan's LinkedIn profile in case you want to reach out to her. I'll include a link to uh, the Dell website where you can learn more about Cloud IQ and um, get any questions that you have answered. But with that, Susan Sharp, thank you so much for spending time with us today. And I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Thanks so much for inviting me, and I look forward to talking again in the near future. Absolutely. We'll see you. Bye-bye.